now that we've got all of the processes put in place, so it is now it this is separate, and we have a project plan, which is a separate thing. So how do we integrate or link up both of it and uh, build, uh, do the build phase of it? So let me kind of go to my quality system. So this is one of my quality systems. Yeah. So I have my digital process catalog here where I have got participants attached to it or end users attached to it. So let's say this is, a, this is one particular process variant I've got. And this process variant will go through this entire cycle from discover to run. Like it starts with the scope analysis, then the fit cap analysis, and uh, the rise of objects for that particular process, and then uh, the rise of development for that particular process, and the testing happens, and then the solution walkthrough happens, and then the cutover or unit testing, UAD testing, training for this particular process happens, and it is all sequential. Let's say there is a task, which is fit gap analysis, which we usually do. So let me go for fit gap analysis workshop. And this can be just one single task in your project plan, but it has to be executed for all of your process items to be precise, like every process item which you have got. So you'll be able to select all the process items by LOP wise, by scope item wise. And this means that once this is selected, you can adopt a plan against this particular fit gap analysis. Uh, so, so typically, if I could imagine, a, a fit gap analysis workshop for a single process starts with conducting of the workshop, documenting it, and signing or signing it off. If it, the signing off is optional, but conducting and documenting are the two things which you have, you might have to do. So, the platform will allow you to automatically create all of those work items and uh, have the right stakeholders because we man maintain users or stakeholders against the process. The platform will take care of creating tasks based on the combination which you just created for the fit gap analysis to be done for 100 process items. So 100 different tasks with 100 different stakeholders plugged in from the process master will be created. And all of these will be notified, all of the stakeholders will be notified and they'll have their workspaces where they, they can see that particular task item and they'll be working on it. And now, uh, as a result of fit gap analysis, what we'll be generating is uh, the backlog or the process components, like you mentioned, uh, different uh, rights of objects, different reports or different uh, authorizations or configurations that have to be done. So all of these items can be loaded up as an Excel sheet. So in terms of effort, it is much like how you just copy paste an Excel sheet and we, we just load it because this is something which the system will not be able to automate or get it automatically. So it is it is where the consultant effort actually kicks in. So this is more an Excel sheet import which the consultant will be able to. And in terms of the time, uh, it's quite minimal because just like how you maintain an Excel sheet, you just have to copy paste it. I'll be able to show a case study around this particular use case soon. Okay.